Morning everyone. It is Christmas Day, 4.15 a.m. I'm out in front of the milking parlor. We're gonna get started. Just wanted to point something out. Our neighbor has that grain business and he's got a star up on the top of his one elevator. Figured I should film something this week. I haven't filmed all week. We'll do some Christmas work. Gonna go get the first group over. Raise our curtain that keeps the warm air in the parlor overnight. So this area here at the back of the parlor is the holding area. Holds about 40 cows. And we have four groups of 40 cows approximately out in the barn. And then one small group of about 15 right here. I think this morning we're milking right around 172. It is actually very warm this morning. Come on, ladies. All right, time to get up and go get your presents. It's Christmas morning. I tell them to get their presents hoping they'll get up quicker, but it's just the same as every morning. We're just gonna milk them, give them feed. This is what happens here. This cow's just streaming milk all over the beds. So I gotta get that milk off of there or else we're gonna have bacteria issues. I went around the pen once, cleared off the beds, chased the cows out. Now I'm just gonna take this shovel around real quick along the back edge and just get that little bit of manure that's piled right there out so that when the cows are stepping, that last step won't be into manure. It'll be cleaner so it'll keep the beds cleaner is the idea. Brought group one over, they're in the holding area now. Usually you see me milking with Megan. She got here, she set up the parlor and they came out and pushed the feed in there for the special needs cows. Checked the pre-fresh pen, there's no calves being born this morning. We're about to get started milking, but there's one thing I need to do, get some milk for my coffee. The milk gets picked up every other day, so we have about half a tank of milk right now because it's been three milking so far that are in here. So I have plenty of milk for my coffee. Megan's gonna milk the last side of pen one while I go out and get the next group. So this is our crowd gate right here. So it runs on a track and just brings the cows up as we bring them into the parlor. That gate's pretty handy. You can lift it up if you need to. 
you gotta run cows underneath it or something. It's so warm out here this morning that I had to take my hat off, revealing how much I need a haircut right now. If you're wondering about this shirt, this is one of my old shirts for my Ultimate Frisbee team. We call ourselves the Disciples. Kind of works. It's raining. These are the milk pen one cows heading back to their group. Group two is now into the holding area. These are the last cows from pen one. I'm gonna put them in their group, close up, and then we'll just open that middle gate and that'll open up pen two. Just chase the last side of pen four in there, and that'll open up the holding area for our last group, which is the special needs cow. Come on, girls. Bringing the special needs cows into the parlor now. Cows are all milked, just gotta clean everything up. In front of the pre-fresh and special needs pen has a scrape alley, there's no slatted floor. Gotta go get the scraper tractor and scrape it over there to the slats.
finished up with the milking. It's just before 7.30. The temperature dropped about 15 degrees since I got out here. It's starting to get a little chilly. But yeah, where's all the white stuff at since the last video? Just gonna put my coffee mug back in my office. My wife was working last night till 3 a.m. at the hospital, so I might actually get a chance to edit this video this morning if I want to. So we'll see if I get it out today. I think I'm gonna throw a couple verses up at the end of this video. Uh, it's Christmas Day, celebrating the birth of Christ. It's a big deal for me anyway. Appreciate you guys watching the video.